Today's horoscope. You are co-ruled by the red planet, Mars. This means that whenever he takes a deep dive into your watery depths, you feel supercharged. Collectively, people will be feeling more, all or nothing, about their personal and romantic lives, as well. No one will want to sit on the fence about anything. Opinions and desires will be top of mind. This will also create a more controlling, possessive, and passionate feel to life during this time. Embrace your great powers and unleash your love on the world. You ascent a sent re the main event. Do you want to commit to something more exciting? Reflect on what you want to work on when the moon in Pisces conjunct Saturn retrograde in Pisces while also forming a sextile with Uranus retrograde in Taurus. Both transits will encourage you to release any inhibition surrounding your ability to focus on a creative venture or passion project at work. After much consideration, you may feel ready to commit to this endeavor. It might be a calculated risk, but at least you can focus on a fun commitment in your work life. As we wait for the first planetary activity on the income front for the year to begin, the moon's return to your work sector today is a valuable chance to first check in and get your professional ducks in a row. This first visit since the last planet left your career sector last week and the last before Mercury returns to begin the first planetary activity in your income sector for the year is an important chance to regroup. With the present astral configuration, you may already sense that something is afoot. Focus on staying in optimal health. Try to eat at home more than you eat takeout. It's a better way to stay healthy a cent a euro oe with food from restaurants you are probably eating more sauces and things, bread, that you wouldn't eat when preparing meals at home. And, when you prepare your own food you are more aware of how your digestive system reacts to the substances you eat. Today's vibrations will try to destabilize you, but you will have to go with the flow even if it is rough going. Your number will push you to distance yourself from daily life and you will ask yourself a lot of questions concerning your life. Don't make any moves. Even if ideas and desires clash today, don't make any decisions either. Leave situations alone and let others act and make decisions for you. You don't have the means to fight effectively. Having the moon in a playful and creative part of your chart in the heart of the working week might not sound like the best timing but this will prove to be an advantage both personally and professionally. Ahead of the moon's return to your work sector tomorrow, this will make it easier to heed the professional god's call to take a wait-and-see approach before you have all the information and insight. At the same time, in the first full day of your birthday month and new solar, the sun's friendly aspect to Saturn in a playful and creative part of your chart is giving you a taste of things to come. Having the moon in Pisces during the first full day of your birthday month is putting the focus on matters of the heart from the start but at the same time, with an eclipsing full moon in your relationship sector later in the week this is also putting the focus on your relationships. While you can't always trust first impressions, the reality is that this new solar will be one of your biggest for both matters of the heart and your relationships in decades. Our Eyes in the Sky you possess the ability to tackle outstanding tasks that demand your full concentration. Your expertise and the impressive results you achieve leave others in awe, motivating you to eagerly embrace any intriguing new ideas that come your way. Opportunities will present themselves for you to engage in collaborative efforts, aiming for further progress while consistently delivering the level of proficiency expected of you. As you handle financial matters, you exude a remarkable sense of calm and composure. While others may find themselves stressed and fearful, you maintain a straightforward and relaxed approach to the situation. Your courage enables you to take well-timed actions that lead to financial gains. However, it's essential to avoid overextending yourself, as excessive pride can be the precursor to a downfall, potentially undoing all that you have achieved. The recent departure of the moon from your financial sector has left you with heightened financial instincts and an abundance of imaginative insights. You have also received valuable information to unpack. 
This transition aligns with the small gap between the Sun's exit from your income sector earlier in the week and Venus's anticipated return early next month. This unique timing has allowed you to focus more on money-related matters while still maintaining an awareness of the balance between incoming and outgoing finances. Today's eclipsing full moon may exert some pressure on the sun and the planets in your career sector as it emphasizes the importance of achieving a work and life balance. However, this is good news for your financial matters. For the first time since the return of Juno, the queen of commitment, to your financial sector, and during Venus's only presence there, a friendly aspect is set to boost your financial confidence and ignite your imagination. This alignment promises positive developments in your financial outlook. Today's lunar eclipse in Taurus carries a powerful message, urging us to release any people or situations that have ceased to be relevant in our lives. Though this process might be accompanied by tears and emotional turbulence, it's important to remember that the universe is orchestrating these changes for a reason. Those who exit your life now are not gone forever, they will return when the timing is right. Mercury in Scorpio is currently opposing Jupiter retrograde in Taurus, magnifying and complicating matters. It's easy to feel overwhelmed during this period, but there's no need to stress. Ultimately, everything will fall into place as it should. In the meantime, it's advisable to keep your financial decisions on hold until the moon returns to your income sector early next week. This hiatus provides an opportunity for the money gods to offer deeper insights and a clearer understanding of your financial path. The eclipsing full moon today may create an emotional fog of war, making you susceptible to impulsive and uncontrolled reactions in your interactions with others. Your desire for progress is commendable but it's essential to exercise patience and tact. Avoid rushing into important discussions or negotiations, as awkwardness and unconvincing arguments could lead to undesirable outcomes. With the moon not only still in your income sector after yesterday's eclipsing full moon but with a lot of energy on both sides of the financial fence and competition between the two, you are still too close to this. When the moon returns each month, it can sharpen your nose for money and act as a trigger, while as a full moon, this can lead to a breakthrough. However, as a lunar eclipse this adds even more potency, just as an alignment between Mercury and Mars is powering up the other side of the financial fence. In the realm of business deals, unexpected challenges might arise, causing your plans and ideas to stall. It can be genuinely frustrating when others don't see the benefits of your proposals, but resist the urge to hasten things. Impatience may backfire and result in losses. To navigate this period successfully, maintain a composed demeanor and avoid rash decisions, as rash actions could lead to unfavorable consequences.